Well, greetings, my brothers and sisters. This is Prophet West, Brother West, Elder West, coming back to you again this morning. Uh, actually, not morning now. <laughs> it's uh, afternoon. Um, something in my heart that I want to um, uh, encourage you in, a, a word of instructions, uh, insight um, from scriptural base and based on uh, my own personal experience in reference to um, dealing with emotions, uh, dealing with pains and dealing with things, dealing with uh, dealing with um, conflict, teach you how to deal with emotional, mental conflict, how to um, filter things off of you and where you can stay free. The main thing is to keep your head free, regardless of what you're going through, as long as you have your mind free. And that, and, and, and when I say free, free in God. When your mind is free, it's in God because he brings freedom. The Bible says whom the Son has, has made has set free, he's, he's made free indeed. And so I want to bring freedom to your thoughts and teach you how to uh, internally deal with and fight through certain things that we uh, fight through and certain things that we battle when we don't have a certain stronghold because the thing about it starts from a thought. When you get a thought, and if you're not careful, um, if you're not careful to kill that thought, especially if that thought is negative or it comes from a hurt, then you will have a process of thoughts, process of thoughts, a series of thoughts. And then what happens, um, those thoughts will become settled in your heart. And then once they become settled in your heart, the Bible says, as a man think of in his heart, so is he. But today, um, I want to talk about how to be careful when you're going through hurts or you're going through pains, the type of music that you listen to. Because sound, there is sound shapes, but sound also creates moods. But also in sound is seed. If you remember Lucifer, the son of the morning, God created him. He was over the sound. Matter of fact, the Bible said that the harp uh, was, and he was created for the harp. He played the harp. He played before God. And uh, so he was over all the angels and stuff like that. And so when he was cast down, the son of the morning, so uh, he was cast down to the earth because of his disobedience. So now he's upon the earth and he controls sound. Not every sound, but there are sounds he control. And so this is why you must be careful when you're going through a tough time or you're going through a bad time. Always be careful of the music or the sound that you listen to. Uh, if I could, if I could, if I could use this, the word called charm. Another word for sound, charm. Also, charm means the charisma. Charisma means favor. Favor means when you're inviting, when you have God's favor, when, when everything you do, uh, people like you. God open up doors. Uh, God, you're the favorite. In other words, God's uh, hand is upon you where God give you access, where God will cause things to happen for you just like it was for Joseph. Joseph had the favor of God, even though even his own brethren tried to kill him, but because his fa the favor of God rested upon him, that favor protected him until he got to the uh, the, the, the penthouse or until he got to the, um, the house of the king. And then he became the number one or the man next to the king who was over a whole region. He became the king's redeemer. Favor will take you out of a pit and it will put you in the palace but that same type of favor see the thing about it with the adversary the adversary he's a trickster but also he's an emulator he's an imitator uh he the bible also says he comes as the angel of light so he's competing with god for your mind he's competing with god for your soul he's competing with god see because he know he's doomed and so what he's doing he's trying to trick everyone he can that come with them to heal and also ultimately the lake of fire and one of the things that he uses he uses sound he uses charm charming that's why you have to be careful of words and charm even people who are charming or who are, who are gifted see because a gift without god becomes it can become witchcraft uh, manipulation and so this is why you must be careful of the type of sounds that you hear this is why jesus said take heed how you hear in other words, take heed who's talking or what you're listening to, because if you listen to the wrong thing, those things or that thing that you hear, as you know, will get in your heart. Then the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But the word charm also 
as favor, but also charm. Also, it can mean uh, witchcraft, alluring, drawing, manipulation. Uh, it's just like the crystal ball uh, that when you go to the um, the soothsayer, that crystal ball will, uh, when they have to put you in a trance, when they want to try to get inside of your head, they get you to look at this crystal ball. And as long as you listen to this crystal ball, watch this crystal ball and listen, listen to the sound, then eventually you will become paralyzed or you become tranquilizer, tranquilized under its spell. This is the very thing that the Lucifer or the snake did to the woman. He was able to beguile her or manipulate her through sound and through charm. And so one of the definitions or two of the definitions of the word charm means a whistle and a pipe. If you think about a whistle, a whistle, uh, they use a whistle to train dogs to get up, to stand, to stand, to get up, to do this, to do that. And so from the sound of that whistle, it will let that dog know to stop what to do. And see, this is what the adversary does with that charm and that sound. He will use sound to control your movement and control what you do and what you don't do. But also there's another word called pipe. Now this word pipe is used in some, I guess, uh, religious circles that call themselves Christians where they use, uh, they, where they use, a, they will take serpents or they will take deadly serpents and they will have a pipe and they will use that pipe and they blow that pipe and from the music of the sound that pipe will control that particular animal and see this is what the adversary do he will use his his pipe to control your moves he will use his pipe to control your direction to paralyze you to get you to become stuck and listen to his spell and so in saying all of that this is why you have to be careful of what you listen to even when you're going through a painful season when you're going through stuff that's hurtful see because uh if you're not careful the type of music that you listen to will feed your hurt it will feed your anger and it will make you more and more angry and also with those that music and that sound See, the sound, what it does, the sound catches your mood, gets your mood, gets you to feel a certain way. And then while you're feeling a certain way, then the abscess will put his words, he will put his seeds in your spirit. Then you'll find yourself rehearsing it and singing the same thing. You're singing these words. And then all of a sudden, you become hoodwinked, bamboozled. Then you become violent or whatever sound that you listen to, you will become that. Case in point, one of the times many, many years ago when I was... Um, I was probably in college, whatever, I was probably in my twenties and I was going through something. I was going through something and um, I was going through something and I was uh, going through something bad in my life and mentally, emotionally. And so I started listening to a certain type of music. And what I come to discover, that music, whatever I was dealing with and whatever I was going through, that music was feeding, actually it was feeding my mind. It was feeding my anger. It was feeding my emotions. It got me to a point where I got to a point where I became in my mind violent, where I felt like and I could feel actually from the music because I had to listen to music. The music had to gas me up. So I, I felt like I could do something to somebody. I felt like I could destroy or I could choke somebody out from that music. And the, the, the crazy thing about it, I didn't care nothing about my life. I didn't care about how I felt. I didn't care about the other person. All I wanted to do was get him, take him out. Do something to him. But that was that music that I was, that tranquilizer that I was under. But God delivered me from that. But this is my message today. Be careful, be careful, be careful of the music that you listen to. If you listen to any kind of music, listen to music that's godly. Listen to music that's going to feed your spirit. That's going to feed your soul. That's going to build your soul. Don't listen to stuff that's going to uh, uh, destroy your soul. That's going to stir your, your flesh up. But you want m music that's going to talk to your spirit, not to your flesh, not to become kerosene to make you do something you really want to do anyway. See, but when you listen to godly music, God's going to give you instructions. Godly music is going to tell you no. Matter of fact, godly music is going to calm you down. Godly music also, if you're wrong and you're doing wrong, it's going to make you become convicted. Hear me. God bless you. Have a good day.